Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Slide 2, and we're going to, uh, take some reconnaissance photos. Just don't go out onto that balcony, and you should remain undetected. Okay. Let's see who we can get a picture of. The wings. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Yeah, that they have. Nice set of wings, they too. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Uh, nothing you can't figure out, Bentley. Okay, we need the electronic winch. An electronic winch? That could be useful. Of course, I think it's funny they give you a list of the things you need to take a picture and you just don't go and take whatever, uh, you know, you just don't go take whichever pictures you want to take and take pictures of you what you think they're gonna need. To Rashawn, you closed your eyes. Alright. Now here we're gonna get a look at some new members. John Basson. A member of the Claw Gang and Canadian shipping baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. His nose is glowing. Oh, that's a flashlight guard. Okay, who have we got here? Who's this? Another Claw Gang member. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Okay, thank you for that, Bentley. Now we have Neela and Carmelita and the Contessa. And they should be popping up, one of them, here any second now. Okay, here we got someone here. There's a Contessa. That's the Contessa. A high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She looks pretty evil to be a cop. Okay, here, who we got here? Of course. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Well, now we have a firm grasp of the obvious. I don't think two cops would be here separately. Three, actually, because Neela counts as a cop as well. She is Carmelita's sidekick. Okay, come on, Neela. Hurry up. We don't have time to wait. Come on, let's go. Ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, ding. Okay, here, here comes Neela. There she is. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. <laughs> Sounds good, Bentley. Let's see what he's got in his lovely little turtle brain. What gears have turned to lead us to what impossible task? Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. All right, so that sounds good enough for me. So we gotta play Sly just to open the drawbridge. And from there, we... Okay, I didn't see my mic in my face, so I didn't know if it was there or not. Alright, we're going to play a sly <coughs> and go lower the drawbridge. And we still have to get back in there this way. Oh, look, there's the van. It's really hiding in a great spot. No one has any idea it's even there. So I uh, bought three DVDs this weekend because they were on sale. Well, I know they weren't on sale. Well, there was a sale at Vintage Stock. It was a buy one, get one free, so I bought uh, used, obviously, but I bought Memento and what was the other movie I bought? Public Enemies. Which I haven't actually seen. It's probably one of the very few Johnny Depp movies that I haven't seen. 
No, I can't say it. Probably it is one of the only. F I mean, there's four or five more I haven't seen. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? E guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. Yeah, go figure. More pickpocketing. Get used to it, guys. It happens. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go back here and get the one on the outside first. And look for... Ooh. Shoot, I did not mean to come all the way down here. Hopefully I can get out without being spotted. Yeah, okay. Well, um, okay, where is this guy? Okay, he is here. This guy's a little tricky to get to because you have to avoid not only him, but the elephant as well. And you really don't have, oh, wow, he's got a lot of pocket change there, huh? <laughs> but anyway, back to my story I was telling you. I also bought... Well, when I bought my computer, my new computer, it was like 950 bucks or something like that. But anyway, I signed up for the, my rewards at Best Buy, and you gain money, and I actually gained 15 bucks on my rewards card for Best Buy. So I went and bought Thor 2, which was 20 bucks, but I only had to pay $5 for it, you know, which is a pretty good deal. Was his pocket glowing five seconds ago? Then he has no another, or no further. Really? He's gonna stay right there? You gotta go around. Ooh. Okay, I'm not here anymore. You can't see me. Okay, let's get around him, which you can get over there going this way. I hope there's not a guard up here. Ooh, shoot. He's coming this way. He just barely didn't see me, but yeah, his pocket's glowing too. Let's see what he got. See what you got. See what you got. Quit drinking on the job. A bronze pen. What's that worth? Two dollars at Walmart? Okay. How do we get over here? Oh, I see. We come out this way. It's kind of dark here a little bit. I mean, not any bit darker than it was in Paris. What? Did he really just turn around? How in God's name am I supposed to sneak up on the guy? Oh shoot, an elephant. Uh, move your light. Okay, this guy's got some. We're gonna try to get it as we're going here. Not take up too much time. Got it. Gold medal, nice. He's pulling a Yui. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh yeah, see, now he's turned around again. There we go. Two picks. We got it. Alright. Where's the next one? Okay, there's one over there. Get that one. I think we have to stay up on high ground here, I think. Oh, yeah, that, that's the one where we have to hit the bell and distract him and make him run away and pickpocket him while he's coming back. Yeah, it is. You can use noise to lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. How yeah, about re pick his pocket before he returns to his post? So I don't have to wait as long. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, there's two more and they're both over there. Okay, I was thinking there might be another one. I couldn't remember how many I was out to get. Okay, let's not get caught. Ooh, this guy's got a glowing pocket. I can't keep getting distracted by glowing pockets. I'm going to stop and want to pickpocket every time. And that's okay when I'm not, you know, trying to record. I guess I'm going to have to do that more like on uh, off-screen kind of thing. A form of grinding in a way, you know. Oh, look, there's one of them right there. Well, you have to get him as he's going across the bridge. That's kind of spooky. Well, it's not spooky. It could be a difficult way to turn it around, but they turn around kind of in a wide circle, so it's not too big of an issue. Alright, let's not attack him. Where's the other one? 
He's way over there. Oh, I remember this one. He's on like a window seal or some seal. What's the word for it? There's a specific word for it. Balcony. He's on a balcony. I think. Oh, yeah. There's someone up there. Don't, don't let him see me. Let's just go ahead and get rid of him. Yeah, see, he's on this balcony here. Yeah, there we go. We'll wait till he turns around here. Oof, we almost hit that bottle. That's a bad place to put a bottle. Okay. Ooh, shoot. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Good job, Fly. Now take a stolen key back to the padlock switch to lower the drawbridge. All right, we'll do Bentley. As soon as I can get back there. You know what? I think there's actually a shortcut this way. If I can remember how to get back over there. There's a shortcut here somewhere. Maybe that's not inside. Okay. Whoa. Do I hear a helicopter? Okay, I guess we're just going to have to go back across the bridge. I was going to try to be quick about it, but I guess they're really in another way. Alright, let's get back to the bridge. And, uh, ooh. Uh, oh, he's turning back across the bridge. Okay. Ooh, look, he's got something. He just glitched right in front of me. Sure enough. Okay. Which way do we go to the bridge? Darn it, an elephant. Oh, there it is. Ugh, excuse me. I kind of forgot where it was for a minute there. Alright, we got it. Let's unlock the bridge, or lower the bridge, so Murray and Bentley can join us on this side. Thanks, Sly. Now Murray and I can access the palace ground. Although I think as soon as they saw that their bridge was being opened, they would either set an alarm or go get it, you know, fixed. But, anywho. Alright, where do I need to go to next? Ballroom dance party. I remember that. Battle the chopper. That chopper. No, I'm kidding. Okay, well, do we want to do that? Oh shoot, there's a guy there. I guess I. Okay, we sneak away where they don't even notice that we're blocked. There's too many baddies here, man. Jeez. It's like trying to avoid SWAT or something. I don't know if we want to start this. Well, I suppose we could start the mission. It doesn't hurt. Oh, shoot. I caught his attention. wonder who else's attention we caught. Oh, he's got gold in his pocket. Ooh, he was going to turn around anyway. I wouldn't have been able to... Savage that. Savage. No. Salvage. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's go over here, see if we can do Murray's job. Okay. Alright. That's Murray's job. Oh, shoot. Let's just head over here. Oops. Where did our job go? Oh, it's way over there. Alright, well, let's go this way, then. And avoid having to go around and down and about. Shoot, don't let him see me. Oh, that's the... Solves that problem? Knocked him right off his little perch. Okay, let's go try to get in here. Knock, knock. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? 
no. No. <laughs> Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. I'm surprised all it takes is a tuxedo to get in there. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Now that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Penguin suit. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Alright, well we'll head that way and then we'll stop the episode there when we get there. Oh shoot, this guy's come back again. Oh look, he's got money in his pocket too. Might as well pickpocket him over here. Ah, bronze pen wasn't worth the pick. Okay. Now let's get over. Shoot, let's not die here. Okay, we're good. We are good in the neighborhood. Not good here. Yes, we are. All right, guys. We will. Well, let's see which way this guy's. Going. They're making this so difficult for us. Not difficult enough. We just got no. We didn't got anything. All right, guys. Let's uh, go. Oh shoot. Let's just go ahead and go in here, and I will uh, call it quits. And thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, okay, wait. Not yet. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. <laughs> Alright guys, now I will see you on the next episode. Alright, bye bye guys.